What's up, y'all? My name is Prince, and I'm an urban acolyte. Uh, this is the month of August, and I'm going to be discussing The Last Jedi the entire month of August here on Urban Acolyte TV. Apologize if my energy seems kind of low. I literally just finished my workout. Hey, man, I still got chalk on my hands. I'm, I'm rocking the sweaty Wakanda forever. And um, man, I, I'm, I'm not I'm really not feeling <laughs> like doing a video today i didn't want to do my workout today but uh i got a little bit of motivation from uh the brave little warrior to, to get up get out get the tai chi in do these kettlebells and these pull-ups today and uh and now i'm here hanging out with y'all doing this um appreciate y'all on uh, on the post yesterday i still want to know those of you who didn't get around to answering the question Who made the best unicorn, uh, your boy P or uh, or the brave little warrior? So uh, I, I didn't see any of y'all trying that move out, uh, snake creeps down or snake creeping through grass, how whatever you call it. Uh, so uh, you know, uh, post put your posts over on Instagram, tag at Urban Acolyte or at Golden Bell Training. You can tag uh, at Qigong Tigress as well. Uh, she'd love to see you guys, and, and she really liked. Uh, you know the support that y'all are showing her she's actually new to all of this stuff right she just she's only been at it for like four or five months right she, she she's she's already looking better than me i've been in the game for 10 years but she don't know the application though that's that's the next trick i gotta I, we gotta link up for a video so i can show her the application <laughs> we could get some hands-on practice <laughs> but anyway let's get to the topic for today this question is coming from andy wozniak uh, Andy, man, I appreciate you showing much love, much support for not just uh, what I'm doing here on Urban Acolyte TV. You are a true fan, a true follower. Uh, you're, you're supporting me over on Golden Bell Training, too. Uh, you'll be probably one of the first people to know when I get the Urban Acolyte Academy up and running. That's not going to be some make-believe Jedi stuff. That's going to be the real training. That's why I'm up at 5 a.m. doing the meditations, the kettlebells, the kung fu practice, uh, the, the barbells and all of that, getting my, my vegan nutrition right, right? Working on these recipes and everything. Uh, I'm, uh, and, and you guys got to stay tuned to the, uh, what is my podcast with Ash called? Uh, the uh, Embodied Mind podcast because uh, Ash and I are trying to do some big things as far as uh, getting people on that on that Bruce Lee flow, right? Getting getting uh, these martial arts people in shape, you know, and, and, and looking like Bruce Lee, looking like somebody sees him on the street and they're like, man, I don't even want to mess with that dude. It's something about his aura, right? The force is something about the force and the way it's moving through him. But anyway, Andy said, Prince, I wanted to ask do you believe someone like Hux will find some way to overthrow Kylo Ren, also known as Ben Solo from the First Order, after learning how Snoke truly died since Huck doesn't know the entire truth? Since Hux doesn't know the entire truth. So to answer your question, I'm going to say no. I don't think Hux is going to try to overthrow Ben Solo or Kylo Ren as Supreme Leader once he learns the truth about uh, how Snoke died or if he learns the truth. I'm going to tell you this. I'm going to say that Hux is already plotting to overthrow Kylo Ren. Why do I say that? Um, because in the last Jedi novelization, we learn that um, Armitage is is pretty Machiavellian, right? He's, he he accepts the fact that Hux is or Hux that Snoke is the supreme leader. That Snoke can control the Force. Snoke can do all of these things. But he's basically he's basically presenting um, 
this idea that was in the Darth Plagueis novel, and I don't want anybody, I know there's some channel out there that anytime you mention Darth Plagueis, they run, there There it is, Snoke is Plagueis confirmed, right? And I'm not saying that, but Plagueis had this idea in a non-canon novel that he would become the true emperor of the galaxy, and that Palpatine, that old Sheev, your boy Sheev right there, Sheev would be the face, he would be the face of 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 the empire uh, of the emperor but the true power would lie with um plagueis right plagueis the wise right and and armitage kind of saw himself in that same light well snoke can be the true power behind the 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 galaxy behind whatever this thing is the the new the new empire run by uh the first order right but Hux felt like, but I'm the one that has the right words. I have the right look, right? I'm the one that should be out in front of everyone. I should be the supreme leader. And deep down, it's like, well, now I don't just want to be the face. I want to be the face behind the, I want to be the man, right? And what do I say? What did I say about this? What about, what did I say about your boy Ben Solo right here? I said to be the man, you got to beat the man. Right, and then when when Hux walks into Snoke's throne room and sees Snoke cut in half, and Kylo Ren is knocked out cold, what was he gonna do? He was gonna put give him two blaster bolts to the back of the dome. Medulla Alagata, Medulla Alagata, right? He he was gonna execute him right there, right? And so I mean, at some point, I mean, you gotta look at Armitage, right? And uh, this is a uh, you know uh, artist Bob Stone. Follow him on Twitter. That dude can draw his butt off. Uh, he's been getting at me because he's like, look, Prince, man, I, I like what you're saying, but I just don't agree. This is bad storytelling. The fact that you got to look at all this extraneous material to get the full story. And Bob and people like Bob, hey, man, you, you might be right. I'm not a screenwriter. I don't have any plans of becoming one. I got some ideas for some movies, but ultimately I'd write a treatment and hand it off to the professionals. Unless somebody says, Prince, if you write this, we definitely going to give you a whole lot of money to to, to 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 write this script and tell this story unless that other if that's not gonna happen i don't have any aspirations of of doing that and uh right i'll just give somebody my treatment for the ideas i have and, and keep going with what i want to do the way where the force i feel that the force is leading me in my life and it's not doing this on youtube either this is for funsies right and uh and every now and then i'll get a nice little chunk of change pay my bills <laughs> but um this is Star Wars. Star Wars is not just a movie. Armitage is Armitage Hux. His story begins on an episode of Rebels, the episode where Ezra snuck in or Ezra pretended to be a student at the uh, the Imperial Academy there on Lothal to get Jai Kel out of there. Meets Zare Leonis. Zare Leonis' story continues. He goes to um, uh, what is it, Arcanis, to rescue his sister Dara and. Uh, Brendel Hux runs the academy there on Arcanus, and we learn about uh, the Commandant's cadets, his little secret society that he's trying to build within the Empire. Brendel Hux's story continues in the Aftermath novels by Chuck Wendig, uh, the second and third specifically, and uh, we get introduced to uh, Armitage, I think, in the second novel, and then in the third novel, we see him uh, slowly becoming Armitage Hux. And then we learn more about his story, how he plotted with Phasma to have his father killed, right? So this dude is cutthroat, man. He don't give a shit. And uh, and he's been in, the, in these abusive situations, right? His father chose Cardinal over him, right? And then it's, well, now I'm, now I'm the big, I'm the big man. I'm the man, right? I'm the man within the first order. I'm the prodigy, especially now that I've gotten rid of my father. I'm, I'm the true heir to the empire, right? You know, the reference heir to the empire, that novel, right? I'm the heir, I'm the real heir the, to the empire, right? The first, the first wave, the first generation of the first order leadership. I'm a direct descendant and I was brought up by them. My father was Brendel Hux, uh, Ray Sloan, who I'm imagining was probably the first supreme leader or whatever the leader of the first order was before um, Snoke came into the picture wherever he came from. We don't know that yet, right? So this is this is his legacy. And then what happens? 
this freaking Skywalker kid, this little Jedi uh, failure, right? Uh, he he couldn't even be loyal to his real teacher, and and he's he, he's Republic trash, right? He's the son of of Han Solo and and Leia Organa, and Vader is Vader. Vader killed the Emperor, right? And Anakin Skywalker, the hero of the Clone Wars, and he and he he belongs to this great legacy, and he can't even he's turned his back on all of that. And now, oh, now he's the Supreme Leader's golden boy. He's the go he's the new Vader, right? He doesn't exist within this structure that I help create, that, that, that I oversee. He's on the outside. He's got a special appointed position and he can use the force. And he doesn't care about these, this technological wonder that I that I helped create, that I've overseen in Star Killer Base and and all of the new uh, Death Star technology that, that I've overseen the perfection of and just and you know and, and being able to track ships through hyperspace, which was something we saw way back on Rebels, but now I have perfected it, right? I have got got gravity wells and everything to pull ships out of hyperspace and I can track them pull them out right uh, supreme leader I've got them attached to a string right and and now I got this dude punking me out with the force too force choking me slamming me all over the place and everything else right and I, I can't catch a break and so you got to think about you got all of that stuff boiling all of that going on within Armitage Hux. I talked about this on Vincent Vendetta's uh, channel, so um, you know, check out his our conversation because uh, I, I I said basically what I'm telling you guys. Brendel Hux, Armitage, Brendel Hux, Armitage Hux is a cutthroat dude. He had his father killed. He's got every reason to attempt to overthrow Ben Solo, Kylo Ren, as supreme leader. And, uh, and and all this stuff, I don't. I, I'm not even like watching any prediction videos because I'm not really interested in what anybody's got to say about Episode Nine. Because um, I mean, it, all they're gonna do is set you guys up for failure. But I'm telling you, you know, as a Dallas, as somebody who speculates on this stuff, and I feel like, you know, I I I, I don't even remember my last Jedi predictions, but. Uh, my bro Caleb said, look, man, I watched Prince's predictions and he was pretty spot on with everything. I'm just telling you the themes. Now, if J.J. Abrams ignores this or whatever, he can go in whatever direction he wants. But as far as storytelling, what I see is there is this hostility between Kylo Ren and Armitage Hux, right? And and they're both vying for control and Kylo Ren right now the path that he's going on is leading to destruction he doesn't he's not a leader he doesn't have any kind of leadership qualities he's he, he's like that gifted he's like and and I, I apologize if to you non-athletes out there and I don't mean that um, in a like disparaging way but hey man I mean look I got freaking chalk on my hands obviously chalk on my face I'm into sports martial arts whatever Right, uh, I I could have been like a, a college basketball coach before at the age of 25. Right, um, that's not you know woulda coulda like that would have happened if I had taken a high school job out of college uh, on the campus where I graduated from college. I don't think if I ever told y'all that on this channel. I know I talked about it on my other channel. So why you should talk watch the other channel because I talk about Star Wars stuff there too. Prince, what's the other channel? I keep saying Golden Bell Training. I think it's like on the homepage for this channel, right? So, man, it's what this channel used to be, Golden Bell Training. How many times I need to say Golden Bell Training? Just freaking, hey man, Google is your friend, dog. Uh, but anyway, this dude, your boy Ben right here, he's like that kid on the basketball team who was the best player. And you think, well, because he's the best player, he should be the team captain, right? But he ain't got no kind of leadership abilities. He's just gifted, right? He, he, he knows how to put the ball in the hole, make the play that you need to make happen, but he ain't no team player, man. And your boy, hey man, that, that's a tragic flaw. And at some point, hey man, he could look up and all the guns are turned on him. And I mean, he can do some impressive stuff with a lightsaber, but Hey man, unless unless he can freeze time like he can on on Star Wars Battlefront, where everybody's just and he can move like Neo and fly away or whatever. If you don't like what I say, fly away, 
fly away. If you don't like where I stand, fly away. Uh, if you don't listen to Goody Mob, you have no idea what where that just came from, and that means you need to get up on some game. So after you watch this video, uh, up on YouTube, Google uh, "Fly Away" by Goody Mob. Some of y'all probably weren't even born when that song came out in the good year of 1998. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, uh, so yeah, unless he can fly away and use the force or something, hey man, your boy is in a whole lot of trouble and uh, and Hux might be bringing that thunder. Uh, if I had to make a prediction, I would say that there's going to be a split within the first order. There's going to be people who side with uh, Kylo Ren and there'll be people who side with Hux. That is how I see if the first order ends up establishing a new empire and this this thing the skywalker saga ends but the story the battle the war between the first order and the new rebellion continues to move forward the only way that i see the first order falling collapsing is that you will have this situation like with the roman empire which would be a great that would be a great way to go about doing star wars is you end up with this situation where okay well kylo ren is going to watch over this part of the gal the universe hux is going to watch over this part of the universe and like with the roman empire you essentially have two emperors right you got an emperor constantinople an emperor in rome uh the or actually it was kind of the pope or maybe there was a situation where you had two emperors. I can't remember right now, right? But you had leadership in, I think there were two emperors. Or like a, a, a well, I'm, I'm the real emperor and you're kind of the, the bitch emperor. Something like that, right? But you had a situation where there was a, a, or maybe it was just the emperor moved to Constantinople. And then you had all the German invaders, uh, the, the, the barbarians, because... Uh, their language sounded like ba ba ba, which is what, how we get the word bar barbarian, that term. Um, who started invading because they wanted, they wanted to be part of the empire. They wanted to be part of Rome, and things collapsed. And in the church, the Pope was the only, uh, the only security that was in place. Is how you ended up with the Pope coming to power, essentially. Thanks to the ba 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 barbarians, ba 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 barbarian, and I'm clowning today. And I taught y'all some history on this video. See, this is this is the most intelligent. I mean, Alex is a smart dude. Like that dude got into Georgia Tech, and I didn't get into Georgia Tech, right? Yeah, I got. I could have gone to Harvard. I I didn't get into Georgia Tech. Alex is a smart dude, but hey, man, I kick knowledge that like goes beyond Star Wars. Right, I told y'all the origin of the of barbarians. But well, there was a video I told y'all like why why you have kosher dietary and halal dietary laws. Y'all don't learn that stuff on. Oh, let's talk about what my contacts at Pinewood Studios and uh, I don't know what the dorks and depends are learning because I have no interest in interacting with their channel. Although I think it's funny that um, o Odin's. Um, Odin's dong hammer or whatever the fuck his name is watches just to see if I'm insulting him. So shout out to you Odin's movie channel Majolner shoved up your ass or whatever. Hey man, I'm talking about you. Let, leave me a comment down below and let me know that you watched the video. Hope you enjoyed it. Keep playing with your dong hammer. You might you might make some lightning. Ride the lightning! <laughs> anyway, now that I've uh, insulted some people and, and had fun, uh, and I'm not gonna edit this out. I, I, I've edited out a lot of stuff from the last two videos that y'all will not know about because I've deleted the, the raw footage, but uh, I'm leaving this in. So uh, that's all I got for this one. And uh, let me know you guys' thoughts. What do you think about um, Kylo Ren and, and Hux? Do you think they they what do you think about their rivalry? Because there obviously is a rivalry there. So comments on the 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 Ben Solo Armitage Hux rivalry down below. Uh, I'll be checking back to see what you all have to say. And uh, that's all I got for this one. If you haven't subscribed already, go ahead and click on that subscribe button so that you can take your first steps towards becoming an urban acolyte. Embark on the journey of becoming the hero of your own story and become a force for change in your community. Make sure to check out more videos from this channel, especially the one that YouTube has recommended for you. Anyway, that's all I got for this video. Thanks for watching. Y'all keep on breathing and may the force of others be with you. Always.